What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video and welcome to Kanab, Utah. We have found a campground that we want to share with you guys and then we're going to go explore the area. So let's get this video started. All right, so this campground is really cool because there are three areas or three destinations that we really wanted to explore in this area and we needed to find something that was kind of centralized. We are staying at Dark Sky RV Campground in Kanab, Utah, and it's a beautiful little area. Now, we are only about an hour from Zion National Park. We're about an hour and 20 minutes to Horseshoe Bend, and we're about an hour 40 minutes to the Grand Canyon North Rim which we will be exploring later in this video. Now, some other cool things about this campground, there are so many trails and destinations kind of right within this area. One of the more highly sought after ones is Peekaboo Slot Canyons. Now this is like the other slot canyons, the more popular ones uh, that you have to get a permit for, except you don't have to have a permit for this one. But you do have to have four wheel drive to get to the trail. So the campground actually offers Jeeps that you can rent and go out and exploring. They also have e-bikes, so if you're just wanting to kind of explore the town, you're right outside of Kanab, so you're able to go and explore the town on some e-bikes if you don't have them with you. Just don't get stuck while you're on the trail, somebody else did, and uh, it ended up costing them about 200 bucks to, uh, to, get, to get out of there, get pulled out of it. Just be careful while you're out there. Now this campground does offer propane services, and what I mean by that is that you can actually take your propane tanks and send them out by the pedestal and put a tag on it, they will take them, fill them up, and return them. So pretty cool service while you're here. Now this campground does offer this little common area. It's a nice covered area with some couches and some chairs. It also has a barbecue pit and a outdoor pizza oven. What campground is complete without a pizza oven? So one of the unique things about this campground is every week the owners host a dinner night for all of the visitors. While we were there, they were actually hosting dinner night and they had a nacho bar for everybody in the campground. That's really cool, I've never experienced that before and <laughs> definitely added to the list because that was such a great experience getting to meet the other campers that were in the area. Now while you're in that little common area, you also have a store that you can visit. Uh, they have drinks and honey and maps and of the trails. However, it is the honor system, so make sure that you pay. <laughs> you can pay using Zelle or drop cash. There's a coffee bar, things like that in there. Just a really cute little store. Now from that store common area, you can actually walk some trails out to into the field in the field areas. There's a sand pit for kids, there's uh, a zip line for kids, there's a swing set, you can go out there, there's some lounge chairs. Uh, just a really nice kind of area to get away from the campers and be able to go out and relax. Now I don't say this often, but one of the most unique things about this campground were the bathrooms. <laughs> and the reason I say that, the bathrooms are located in the middle, so they're centralized to all of the campers. And there's a men's restroom and a women's restroom. And there's only one for each. But when you go in, there's doors off to the side and there's this uh, privacy fence that's actually covering around it. You can take the shower head out of the bathroom because it has an extended uh, line to it 
and take it outside and hang it on the fence and then that way you can actually shower under the stars because it is a dark sky area. Now, don't be worried about drones or anything like that because you're not allowed to actually fly drones in this area. We got permission from the owners to fly our drone while they were cleaning the restrooms uh, during the day. So that's, that's why we were able to get drone footage. You don't have to worry about that while you're out there, <laughs> while you're in there taking showers. In addition to that, on the backside of that building, they have a decent laundry area. And I did really like how the camp sites were kind of laid out. They're laid out, you're parallel to the road. Uh, so your campsite is on the opposite side, so you get a lot of privacy. You're not side by side stacked up uh, So you get I think you get more privacy that way and each of them had this little like gazebo small gazebo building with a with a uh, table and a fire pit and you just you felt like you had your own space So ours was located looking at the fields. That was really nice So I really enjoyed staying at this campground. It is like I said centrally located to a lot of things that we wanted to do. Now I will say that I have heard it's difficult to book this campground. We booked it well in advance. There's only a few sites there. It's not very big. So if you plan to stay here, I would book it uh, pretty far in advance just to make sure that you get your spot. All right, now that we have found a place to stay uh, for you guys, let's visit the area. Now we're going to the Grand Canyon North Rim. <music> the Grand Canyon. Today we are at the Grand Canyon North Rim. Cindy and I have been to the west, the south. North was the only one for us to, uh, left for us to do. So today we are checking off that bucket list item. So first stop is the visitor center. Uh, of course, Cindy has to get her stamp and her stickers and things like that. They also have a lodge and that lodge actually has a window uh, that goes out over the canyon. There's a lot of food there too. I've heard it's really expensive, so you might want to bring your own food for lunch or something like that. We're gonna go check out the lodge now. So the lodge is absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going down, we're gonna hit this uh, trail. There's a little trail down here with a with kind of a scenic lookout. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. The scale makes you feel very, very, very small and insignificant. Just crazy. Look at this. This is our trail. Yeah, there's no guardrail. Look at that. Don't walk off the trail. That's concerning.
So currently we're at Imperial Point, which is the highest point of the north of the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Absolutely amazing. And the fact that you can still see Mount Humphreys way out there is just unreal. All right, so what I just showed you guys was Angel's window, and we're getting getting ready to walk out on it. Yeah, so it actually has um, the edging of the cliff, and then they put railings on it to make it more safe, um, but you're welcome to walk out on it yeah. um, at your own risk. Yeah, well, here we go. All to ourselves. A big drop. Well, that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed a look at Dark Sky RV Park. It's such a beautiful place. If you want to get some more information about it, information is in the description below. Be sure to tell them One Strange Adventure sent you. Uh, but if you want to stay there, you need to make sure you make reservations in advance. You might be able to get one or two nights here and there, but anything more than that, I would say, make sure you're making your reservation in advance. And then also we went to the Grand Canyon North Rim beautiful time. I mean, there's not a ton. You're walking trails, you're going to the visitor center, you're seeing the sights. It is absolutely beautiful. Camera does not do it justice. So make sure you go check that out if you're ever in that area. Next week, we are headed to the Bryce Canyon area. Uh, we'll be checking out some hikes in Bryce Canyon National Park. So make sure you tune in for that one. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. Till the next strange adventure, keep making your own.